Welcome to Gun News in 5 Minutes or Less. This is brought to you by the Gun News and Reviews channel. So for this week's ammo update, we're going to do something a little bit different. We went on a road trip this last weekend from St. Paul, St. Louis, Missouri. As you can see, so did uh, these horses. Note the dog at the back of the truck. First place we stopped was Cabela's in Owatonna, Minnesota. And uh, they are also owned by Bass Pro Shop, for those of you that didn't know. And uh, they had kind of what's a typical assortment for folks who do have ammo these days. They've got a lot of 223. They've got, uh, got some stuff like 224 Valkyrie. What you're not going to see are things like 270 Winchester and 300 Win Mag or 30 odd six. You just aren't seeing those on the shelves yet. Uh, Panning over here, we're looking at uh, shotgun shells and slugs. So those are coming back, and not necessarily for good prices either, but uh, you couldn't even get those a month or so ago. This right here is kind of surprising. I guess Cabela still thinks that there's people that are going to pay $0.80 cents a round for 556. Five, Apparently, people aren't. Here's reloading supplies, and uh, you are definitely starting to see these come back, especially at the bigger bigger box guys, assortment of bullets, powders, dyes, things of that nature. Now, I'm not a reloader. I know a lot of the folks watching have asked about reloading supplies, primers, and things like that, so I'm going to ask you guys, please, in the comments section to let us know what you're seeing for prices and how these compare. Next stop is a Shields in Iowa City, Iowa, and you can see they're reloading supplies here. And I'm noticing this is my second Shields visit, a couple different locations in as many weeks, and I'm seeing that they have a lot of stuff on the shelves, more than anybody else, and I'm wondering if that's just a testament to their distribution network or just maybe how they buy. But what we are seeing is uh, a lot of different ammo boxes, but not necessarily the big breadth and, and, and again, the hunting ammo not as prevalent as we would expect. Uh, coming here to a smaller, quote-unquote, big box called Dunham's in Hannibal, Missouri, uh, in what they call a low price, uh, about 4 bucks a box on 20 rounds of 5.56 five, above everybody else. But uh, as you can see, once again, 7.62 by 39 and, and, and these calibers that people shoot a lot of volume of, but you just aren't seeing a lot of stuff like Remington Corlock 30-odd sixes, 270s, Federal Fusions, you name it. Thought I'd peek around the corner, and the answer is no. They do, however, seem to have uh, quite an assortment of firearms in stock. So uh, as we covered last week, firearms are coming back. It's just the ammo that needs to catch up. And uh, here you see the same store, their pistol caliber case. Uh, again, what they call low price is uh, not a low price by any stretch. And maybe this is a testament to... What you're going to see at smaller stores, as well as what you're going to see in uh, in smaller towns. Speaking of smaller towns, here's the Walmart, which is not a smaller store, in Bowling Green, Missouri. And uh, their shelves are just cleaned out. Now, I don't patronize Walmart myself ever since they said we are going to virtue signal the whole not selling handgun rounds thing. But I have heard reports from folks that uh, indicate that uh, they've seen a lot of hunting ammo at Walmarts across the country. This one, not so much. We were able to uh, get into a couple smaller local gun stores in St. Louis, and uh, their selection was very slim and high-priced. Starting to think this is as much of a distribution thing as anything else. For more updates on stories like this, please subscribe to Gun News in 5 Minutes or Less.